Today, I'm gonna give you a short little lesson slash trick tip in how to kickflip. The same way that we covered the ollie a few weeks ago, we're gonna do that with kickflips. Now, kickflips are a very common trick to lose as you progress in skating. You start to try other tricks, your muscles get used to moving other ways and your ankle gets used to flicking, doing other flip tricks. So naturally, kickflips kind of fall back by the wayside. It's important to learn how to kickflip. What I'm gonna call in this video is the proper way as opposed to the not proper way. So when I first learned how to kickflip, um, I was just doing anything I possibly could to get the board to flip. And that's fine. If you're gonna do that, like please go for it. Just do that and then you can you know, pick it up later and perfect it later. That, that's what I wanted to do and that's what I did. So about a year ago, I retrained myself to kickflip the proper way. And what I mean when I say that is, I had a very rocket kickflip because I was so used to kickflipping into, into grinds, specifically into back 5-0 grinds, that my kickflips just naturally were rocket. I couldn't really kickflip down stuff very well. I couldn't kickflip on flat very well. I'm gonna run through the steps on what I did in order to train myself how to kickflip like that. And, and if you learn the proper way the first time, you're not gonna have to reteach yourself this method. Step one is you want to really hang on to the back seat of the board. You want your body weight over that back truck. You want to keep your foot in the middle of the tail and your front foot is gonna be where I like to put it. I like to put it just under the bolts. And you wanna be sitting back seat. You really wanna be kind of leaning back. The problem is if you lean too far forward, the board is likely to go rocket when you flick. Cause a lot of times people will flick the board and they will try to jump ahead of the board and that is what's gonna cause it to go rocket. When you go to flick for a kickflip, you want to kick the board out in front of you, kind of just like the ollie. You wanna really just, you want to get your ankle and your foot to stick to the nose of the board and you want it to kick out in front of you. And now when it comes to the flick, obviously you wanna kick out in front of you, but you really want to feel your foot sticking to the nose of the board. Like you wanna feel the sole of the shoe catching. Once the board gets to here in the air, like once it's level, that's when you flick. Because if you flick too soon, the board's gonna, gonna just go rocket. But if you flick a, just like a fraction of a second later, it literally makes all the difference. The problem that I had, I would pop, and right when I would pop, I would try to flick, and I could never figure out why my kickflip would rocket. And then I would see someone like Chris Weimer do a kickflip, and I'm like, how the fuck does he do it like that? Wait till the board gets in the air first, wait till it gets about here, and then you flick. So now this might not make a lot of sense. So ideally, you're gonna think, I need to kick off to the corner of the board, in which you are. But if you think about it in this way, the board's gonna flip better. And in that way is, try to just flick straight off the center of the nose. Don't even think about it going off the corner, because the more you think about it going off the corner, the more your foot is gonna go off the corner, the board will have more of a tendency to go rocket. So think about flicking straight off the nose, and since you're doing a kickflip, it's gonna go slightly off the nose. So I honestly, I try to, I think to flick straight off the nose, but in actuality, it flicks like somewhere around here. So yeah, I mean, as far as foot placement too, I just kind of put my back foot, like I put it as far back on the tail as is comfortable for me. I don't really do anything too different. For my front foot, I have the board just under the bottom two bolts and I angle it just slightly, like ever so slightly, not a lot. And I, I see some people dramatically angle their foot and it works for them and I see I see them do kickflips and I'm like, how in the hell do you do it like that? What, it's gonna work differently for everyone, so try all the options and see what work, works best for you. The main goal is, no matter how you position your feet, you want to get your foot to stick to the nose of the board. You wanna feel it grabbing on your board. And once you get here, you just wanna make sure that you're flicking it and like bringing your feet out of the way to allow it to flick because if it sticks too hard, the board's just gonna like shoot out. Naturally, if you get this down when the board dips, you're gonna feel it hit your back foot. And that's, that's like what you wanna aim for. That's exactly what you wanna feel. You wanna feel the board smack up to your back foot and then just like any other trick, just like an ollie, just like you're doing anything else, you know, land over the bolts and ride away. Quick rundown. So, foot placement, back foot on the tail, wherever it's comfortable. Front foot, just under the top two bolts, slightly angled, flick straight off the nose. Feel your foot stick to the nose. Flick it about here. Feel it hit your back foot. 
land over the bolts. What tricks do you guys want to learn next? Leave a comment, let us know. Thank you.